Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Sue Turkleton. I'm underneath this giant suspension bridge on the west side of it, and I'm going to show you how to get up on top of the BMX bike. Now this giant piece of concrete here has a nice angled wall on this side of it. You can wheelie right up that instead of having to go up the uh, steps right there. So the first step is to get onto this cable. Now you want to line yourself up before you drop onto it. And once you are onto it, try to make sure that your adjustments are really small left or right to make sure you don't fall off, of course. And once you're onto this part of the bridge, you're in business. Now these knuckles, uh, every 10 to 15 feet, or 10 to 15 yards on this cable are gonna become a problem later, as well as the netting, it's not really an issue now, but later on it will. And you'll see why. Maybe not in this video, but you'll see why uh, with experience. Now these steps here, you gotta keep tapping A, and just keep your bike straight in order to get to the top. They're really not that big of a problem, I don't think. I mean, it just kinda sucks to have to stop and go so slow up the uh, last portion of that cable. Once you're on top, just sort of soak in the view, get yourself ready for the descent, uh, line yourself up, of course, and once you go down, keep an eye out for these knuckles because you're gonna wanna keep right in the middle of the cable so you don't hit those knuckles and do an endo and fly and scorpion slide all the way down the rest of it. Uh, this netting really sucks, and I'm gonna bump into it over and over again on this. This is the perfect ride, of course, but watch out for it because it's really glitchy. Your bike will get stuck in it, you'll get stuck in it, you might fall through it, your bike will fall through it, but you'll stay up. It's It really sucks. And uh, once you get to the top of this, you can either launch over like I accidentally did here, or stay on, stop, stay on top and uh, descend normally. Uh, I try to pump the brakes right here on these steps so I don't gain too much speed, but just like before, watch out for the netting, watch out for the knuckles, and if you're really lucky and do it right, you can do kind of a cool jump right there, uh, and you might be able to land on that cable and continue down it. I've tried, and that's the closest I've gotten, of course, of, of course I died, but there's a few different places around here that you can practice here, uh, around here as in Los Santos, that you can practice your balancing, like this place down here in, uh, at the airport, I don't even know what you would call it, it's some sort of... Um, Mon monument, I guess you could say. I, I have no idea what it is, but uh, you know, just like on, just like on the bridge, the problem is the descent. You pick up so much speed and it's hard to correct. But you know, the more you ride things like this, you get used to riding things that aren't supposed to be ridden. I mean, that's that's my favorite part about riding these games or uh, playing these games and riding bikes in real life is finding things that aren't supposed to be ridden uh, by your bike and figuring out a way to ride them and. I mean, I'm not sure what everybody else does on these bikes. I'm assuming you do wheelies and jump around and stuff like that. But for me, I spend so much time just riding my bike around, trying to find a cool little bump to do a jump off or something. And uh, either way, I hope this helped you guys. And yeah, I don't know. Ride more bikes in GTA. Jesus, come on. Uh, but either way, have a good day. Thank you. Love life.